Red flag is very unique because it's more of an air-to-air -air scenario, which you wouldn't think bombers would have a large part to play in that. However, they still have to get to the area where they have to drop the bombs. What's unique about Minot's involvement in Red Flag, specifically with the B-52, is the large array of weapons that we carry. Uh, it gives the combatant commanders and the mission commanders here a large uh, scale and flexibility with, their, uh, with the capabilities that they want to use. Minot uh, is, and the 23rd are looking to just further integrate with the rest of the, uh, the combat air force, learning how uh, our how our partners uh, can further integrate to help us and how we can help them to fit into the overarching mission concept, as well as uh, working with our coalition partners to make sure that we are able to all integrate, hit and go out into the fight. The fifth maintenance group accounts for most of the personnel that we have here. And those are the uh, guys and gals that turn wrenches day to day on the aircraft to keep them safe and ready to fly at any, at any time. And we've got the 23rd bomb squadrons here as well from the operator side, uh, all coming out of Minot. There's a, a lot of coordination leading up to it for about three plus months, making sure we came with the right package to do what we need to do here. Some of the challenges we face are like the standard challenges that everyone and, uh, faces when we get out here. Uh, brand, new, uh, brand new area where we're not necessarily used to flying, different rules for um, how we're gonna operate in the areas and things like that, different airspaces, and then just working with, uh, just working in an environment that's not our home base. I think our teams are performing absolutely outstandingly. Our maintenance team has got our, has got our backs getting us off the ground and we've got the crews that are working, uh, working tirelessly to make sure that we are able to go and integrate with our players. Uh, as for whether we're expected to be perfect or not, nobody expects that. We expect, uh, but the expectation is that we all can, you know, come together uh, during debrief and figure out, hey, where did we go wrong? What can we have done better? What is the next step for us so that way we can and move on from the mistakes, never make them again, and be the most lethal aviators that we can be.